Hello all uh, on this side and today we are going to start with our next session uh, on ADDM report. So in the last session we have already discussed about uh, ADA, AWR reports generations and all the concepts about AWR but uh, I want to explain some more uh, on AWR report. Uh, let me show you. So this is how we have generated the AWR reports like uh, going to the Oracle Home, RDBMS, Admin, AWR, RPT.SQL then we have to give the uh, file name and all that on which uh, you have to generate it then we have to feed the snap ID right so after feeding the snap ID we have to generate the reports and we can do it uh, uh, similar way we can uh, work on it uh, by using WinSCP and uh, by using uh, the shared location uh, with the help of that, we can move the HTML file to the local machine and we can view that information. Apart from that also, we have, uh, you can say, uh, okay, from this view, yeah, from these many views, uh, we can generate the AWR report, ADDM report and uh, uh, ASH report like AWR RPD or SQL. This is the file which is present under RDBMS admin under Oracle Home, which creates the main AWR report based on the stats pack. Stats pack is also a te uh, technique from which you can generate the reports, but report can be faced from the snapshots of the AWR report. If you are using AWR RPT I, okay, it's the same file with at the same location is present here. Say uh, ls ltrh AWR RPT star. Look, related to AWR RPT, we have this file also. AWR RPT I. So if you'll run this file, what will happen? It will comparison, it will do the comparison between the snapshots. If you're using ADDM RPT, that means you are running the ADDM analysis on the pair of AWR snapshots. If you're using ADDM RPT I, so it will just do the same the comparison between the snapshots between the rack instance. If you want to run the ASH report, so we will run that ASH RPT uh, report and uh, we can get the output. So these are the uh, some important uh, SQL files which is very very important you should be aware of. Apart from that, you can say that okay, what are the list of common problems which we can identify, which we can detect in the ADDM report. ADDM is just an automatic diagnostic uh, di diagnostic report management. So on this, what happens? Let me show you. Under this, in ADDM tuning sessions, follow the same procedure as the manual tuning sessions, but combine steps. So under ADDM report generation, we have to generate the report of ADDM. If you ask me uh, what and all things happens under ADDM reports, it will collect the current statistics. It will compare the current statistics with the previous sets and it will acknowledge the issues and it will let you know. It will define the problems and make the recommendation also. What I have said earlier that ADDM report will provide the solutions based on the statistics what you have currently. So it will generate the statistics of the current database servers and uh, make the recommendations. And this is a hit and trial solutions. It's not that it will be apt and appropriate. It will be the hit and trial uh, solutions. You can or you may not uh, accept the solution from the ADDM report. Implement and measure the changes. And the final thing is, did the solution meet the goal? You have to decide it. You have to check it. Whether you have applied the ADDM report uh, analysis and the recommendation you have applied to the database, whether it met the goal or it not. So in ADDM report, what and all common problems you can detect here. So the common problems which can be detected is CPU load, memory related issue, IO related issue, resource SQL, okay, rack issues, application issues, database configuration issues, concurrency issues, contention issues, poor con connection management, parsing issues, log contention. So there can be multiple issues. So these are the basic issue criteria which you can observe in the performance related stuff and we have to do the uh, resolutions by tuning these parameters, these issues and how we can do the tuning with the generating ADDM report 
which will provide the solution and recommendation from the oracle itself that do this 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 steps it will improve the performance of your database server by this much percent okay so addm report is very very important so if you want to generate the addm report you can generate it but it's a automatic database diagnostic monitor it works in the conjunctions with the aw report because whatever present under aw report aws summarizes the information whatever thing is present in aw report it can be used uh, can be used in uh, addm report and it can be faced from the ass report also because all the reports can be faced from the aws report only so aws report is uh, collectively known as the collection of all the snapshots all the minute details of the database server so similarly the aws stores the performance statistics and these statistics are used for the problem detection and self tuning much like stats pack stats pack is also the same utility like generation generating a report from the stats pack and it will uh, generate the report and you can just analyze detect the problem and you can tune it and on the addm basis it helps to give the recommendations for the correct for correcting of the problem in addm analysis the task is performed and its finding and recommendation is stored in the database every time in aws report also from 12c onwards addm report is generated uh, by default whenever you are generating a aws report so these are the following views that can be used to display the addm output without using oracle enterprise manager or anything and we have some uh, basic commands from which you can generate the addm reports and you can check check the uh, real time uh, issues so i will circulate these things to you guys coming to our next section that is ASH report. So, what does this mean? ASH report. ASH is signifies as a active session history. So, whenever you want the current session related issues, if you want the current session related details, if you want the details for the history uh, of the sessions, you can do it with the active session history. If there is an issue related to SQL query, right? So, and you are in the bridge call. p1 call so you are not author I means uh, you don't have that much time to go through the aws report and find uh, do the findings and do the analysis it's not up to uh, the month that you can validate uh, all the parameters from the aws report no so on that scenario you have to encounter what is the actually problem which is creating a problem so most of the time 80% of the time it is due to the sql long running sessions so during that time what we have to do we have to just encounter the sessions related to the sql statement and we have to do the needful what we can do so so the first thing is the sample session activity in the system including the system sql identifier of a sql statement object number file number and block number wait events then uh, module and action name client identifier service hash identifier blocking sessions so there can be no multiple case scenarios these many things you can identify from this ash report if any sql statement which is in long running or it is creating a performance related issue you should directly go and generate the ash report rather than awr and addm report anything related to performance related to sql query go and directly uh, get the ash report in advance and do the analysis then and there so it, it is always on the first fault analysis you can directly get the issue why it is causing no need to replay the workload no need to uh, generate the aws report on that scenario and even you can access the ash data from v dollar active underscore session underscore history views and ash report can be generated from uh, oracle enterprise manager awr report can be also generated from the it, it, uh, oracle enterprise manager even addm report can be also generated from the oracle enterprise manager that is oem so the details you can get it from the sql prompt also using this view v dollar active session history and this is how uh, ash report looks like for the 
time frame you have to select the specific uh, date and time till when to when you want the report to be generated so we have to generate this report for the minute time period like 5 minutes interval 10 minutes interval 15 minutes interval because it will identify the details and the issue scenarios of the current sessions so that's why we used to generate the ash report for particular time frame like 15 minutes or 20 minutes or 5 minutes and for awr report it's uh, it, it should be generated during the issue feed time period if your snapshot retention is 1 hour so it's not that you can generate the report from 15 minutes it should be for 1 hour only depending on the snapshot configuration what has been implemented in your organization so these are the few details like top events load profile load top sequels java workload if you want you can go through the sections else we can proceed further parsing so one of the most common issues which we can detect in ash report and aw aw report is the parsing phase i hope everyone is aware with the parsing phenomenon parsing always check the syntax check and semantic check and privilege check and the concept of soft parsing and hard parsing you will be able to find in the aw report also sometimes it will be asking that if soft parsing value is more than hard parsing it is fine or it is not fine obviously it is fine if the parsing is happening that means it is consuming more io more uh, resources and the, it is a cost effective process right so always remember if parsing is happening that means hard parse is happening it will be a hard parsing if parsing is not happening that means the execution plan is already been made in the uh, earlier time okay and that execution plan is present in the shared pool so you don't have to worry for making a parsing phenomenon happen again so on that scenario you can say soft parsing is being done without parsing you can directly take the output of the uh, query which you have selected but the query which you have triggered it for the first time it will go for the parsing and what we call as the hard parsing and sometimes what happens if you'll see in aw report that hard parsing is happening very frequently very frequently so what are the steps to resolve that so it's better to gen create a bind variable for that and what are bind variables from where we can see the bind variables in the practical sections i will show you while generating the sql t report that means sql tuning advisory report you can check the bind variables of particular table or particular uh, schema okay what and all bind variables that has been created on a particular tables column so i will let you know so simple and sober answer to avoid hard parsing hard parsing is very um, poor process okay uh, we should avoid hard parsing in oracle database for, to improve the performance so how to avoid the hard parsing one of the best solution is to implement the bind variable once bind variable is there hard parsing will be avoided okay so this is all about the ash report and addm report and all that let me show you how to generate the addm and ash report i have it in my uh, machine last time we have already discussed about generating the awr report now i am at the same location in this rdbms admin and i want to generate the addm report or ash report so let's say you want to generate the ash report okay so oh, oh let's generate addm report so this will be a report named as addm rpt.sql sitting on this location you can generate it what happened okay you are in the root user so i will just switch to oracle i will set the environment for my prod database sql plus okay let me go to that location sql plus ss dba at the rate addm rpt dot sql and uh, look it is asking the begin snap from where when to when you want to generate the addm report i want to generate from 3 this is the 3 is the snap id begin snap id end snap id is i think 8 okay i want to select 8 that means what from 430 21st may 430 to 
ट्वेंटी सेकेंड में फोर थर्टी टू थर्टी आई वॉन्ट द रिपोर्ट राइट एंटर so what it is showing here the instance was shut down between the snapshot 3 and 8 obviously it is showing because from uh, may 21st after 6:30 my instance was down so you won't be able to generate that report so what to do i will generate the report for the recent time that will be fine for me at the rate addmrpt.sql i will take the snap id from 11 to thirty. Look, it is asking to generate the ADM report. It will be in the text format. I will enter. So the look, uh, this is being uh, created. This ADM report. If you want to view it, or uh, then you can use view and this command. Okay, I have to go to this location, view and this file name. Look, this is the ADM analysis. What it is showing? Database is running with DBID and what is the version is of the database is, but it is not showing any findings, any recommendation. There is no findings. If there is some suspicious thing which is happening at the DB level, then you will be getting the suspicious thing, issue scenarios, the problem scenarios, as well as the solution from the Oracle, the recommendation from the Oracle. Okay, so this is how we can. Generate the ADM report. Similar way, if you will trigger uh, same command for generating ASH report. So we will use sitting on same location. We will use. Uh, you can check the location where I am. Yeah, in the Oracle Home RDBMS admin. Just at the rate ASH RPT dot RPT dot SQL. You can use this one. Okay. So again, you can follow the same process. Give the report name and all that, and you can generate the ASH report. Just generate it. All the reports. Just go through each and every sections and uh, just capture the definitions. Okay. The important definitions you are uh, getting from these reports. Once you will be able to generate the reports, you will be able. You will be familiar with the sections and segments. then we can do the analysis then i will let you know on what aspects on what part you have to hit and you have to do the analysis okay so till then uh, we can uh, conclude here and we can meet in the next sections and till then thank you uh, thank you everyone